dadah masih yo, dadah dadah masih, dadah dadah masih yo, dadah dadah masih eh. Aduh, mama Benny na, dadah masih, dadah dadah masih. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. And guys, we are back and we waste no time. You're going to dig in. You see how Z is in, I don't know if it is leopard skin. I don't know whatever this is, but she's ready to pounce on the story. So let's go straight into them and begin it at number five. God, VGMAs. Every year, the nominations is set to spring out a lot of controversies, a lot of feelings, whether hard feelings or negative feelings, and this year is no different. So yeah, they have released their nomination list, and oh, 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 I don't know if your favorite artist made that list. Let us know in the comment section if your favorite artist was nominated for what you think. They should be nominated for some people are talking. So Mr. Drew has a lot to say, and first of all, he doesn't understand why they didn't put him in the category of best male vocalist. I thought he deserves it. I thought he deserved it too because he's done great work, but he's not the only one talking. So Joe Metal, and this is very particular to Z. <laughs> so Joe Metal has been nominated for Artist of the Year again, and Raskuku just does not get it. I mean, what song? He's not had as much visibility, as much action on the music scene this year. I think he can only count one hit song, which is Yeboame. Forgive me if I can't say it right. <laughs> But yeah, so what brought him to that category of a best artist of the year? Is it compulsory that you always have to include a gospel artist in that category? If the God clan ain't doing it right, you can keep them out. Keep it to Satan. <laughs> and it is not a sin to do that. And he's not the only one also talking. Um, Famiye also has some few grievances. So Famiye is... Grieving. Why didn't you nominate me in Artist of the Year? Because Famiya has had a great year. I mean, he's had hits upon hits and great features. So yes, he understands that you put him in other categories, but why not Artist of the Year? I mean, I feel like this will keep on going until the event actually ends, and then we will have post-VGMA discussions on feelings that are hurt and awards that were impact. But yeah, that is what is going on. And let us know in the comment section, is your favorite star or artist nomi nominated for the things that you want them to be nominated for? Let us know. And moving on to our fourth pick this week, when it comes to weddings, I think the people of Kumase, my brother here, <laughs> They may not be able to pronounce their R and their L's, but when it comes to royal weddings, not just weddings, royal weddings, Omar Jaffa, yes. The people of Kumasi wow, <laughs> have, been, have been giving it to us back to back to back, like since I think 2020, from COVID, Listen, you know, we era till able now. We pronounce royal, but we do royal. That's it. <laughs> that is it. So we were here then, that's why it's um, son got married. And there have also been some other, you know, not very popular people whose weddings in Kumasi have also been like the talk of social media. But this week, Kojo Jones, Ghanaian businessman, Kojo Jones, if you've not heard of him, he's a very fine gentleman. His dentition, oh my God. Ooh. Yes, Kojo Jones said, I am no longer going to be in the market on the market i'm picking a wife and man they are such a beautiful couple talk about travis scott and rihanna uh, uh, don't put them on that level but they are beautiful they're beautiful <laughs> they're beautiful kojo jones is beautiful rachel his bride is beautiful and i love the kumasi culture i think the most richest i'm from the upper west region every tribe in ghana has their own culture but i feel like the kumasi culture has been so rich and so put in our faces that you cannot even like no. hate on it mm -hmm. you can't no matter how hard you try and it was an absolutely beautiful traditional wedding very lush of course he's a millionaire he's got money so you wouldn't expect anything less the creme de la creme were present rachel changed into not one not two but four different beautiful kente gowns man and kojo jones was giving us back to back he was giving us king at some point agbada at some point like he was like back to back, back, to to back. back. and the white wedding is this weekend in accra we can't wait. You know it's about to be late. You know, because if traditional wedding, 
four four wear. outfit changes. Anyway, they, they need their fashion yeah. shoe. Ale, we can't wait. Of course, they're going to be beautiful performances. We know definitely. Um, and we are going to be here to bring you all the gist. Follow our social media because we're going to be updating you on everything that is going on. We wish Kojo Jones and his beautiful wife Rachel all the best as they go into their matrimonial journey. And guys, moving on to our third story, you have to be living under a rock to not know the tune. Da 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 masi yo, da 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 masi. Da 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 masi, da 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 masi. That song is no news was birthed or inspired by a fiasa snigger using the term da 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 masi to show gratitude to everybody that donated um, to the father's funeral and helped the funeral be a success. But then again, Budek is bagging, is bagging and banking on the tune, okay? And that even though it is somebody's funeral, he was inspired to make a song out of it. And so now he's promoting the song. He's going to radio stations and TV stations. And recently he had a banter with Nkonkonsa. A very, very hard one. So he has a problem that I feel like every other Ghanaian artist has when it comes to bloggers. They feel like bloggers expect them to get paid before they promote their songs on their websites or on their platforms. And he feels like when it's a negative story, I don't need to pay you to promote it. So why do you need uh, me to promote? Uh, why do you need me to pay you to promote my good song? And then he also goes on to say, you don't even make my song a hit. My song was already a hit before you even go on to post it. It was a bad scene. I, don't, I didn't enjoy it. And he was flamed up for no particular reason and even cussing. Well, that is not all that Kodak has been doing when it comes to radio and TV station interviews. So if your Sasnega was called on OKFM by Abeku to ask what she thinks of the song, since the song was inspired by something that she was saying all over social media. And ooh, 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 if your Sasnega said, ah, 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 ah. If you know Efia Sasnega, one thing that she would not leave out of her sayings are the vulgar words, the insults the passionate insult, and she did not let Kodak breathe. I mean, she gave it to him, and apparently he, she finds it offensive that you are going to bank on something as negative as my dad's funeral, and that you are using it to chase clout and chase popularity. Kodak's response was very, very mature for me. I mean, he said, you're a comedian, and that means you spark trends and you spark um, artists even using something you say in their works and that he respects her very much and if she feels offended he's very very sorry he's also took the um, the opportunity to apologize to Nkonkonsa. Guys our second pick for today it is a war that has been going on for a while it is a rivalry a rivalry that can <laughs> even if they bring us a different man that you know, Ghana should marry this man and Nigeria should have their own man. It is never going to end. This rivalry is going to be there forever and ever. And it is beautiful. It's not like we're at each other's throats, but all the fights are always on social media. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the black stars of Ghana are facing the Super Eagles of Nigeria today at the Babayara Sports Stadium for the FIFA World Cup playoffs. This is a very crucial game for Ghana. It is a do or die situation for Ghana. And so everybody's riled up. Social media is riled up. The trolling has already started. Ghana versus Niger is trending on Twitter already. People are giving their score yeah. predictions. Somebody says we're going to uh, beat Niger 2 nil. And I'm hoping so because I feel like we're going to win the game. So there's reports that Ghana has never lost a game on the Baba Yara Sports Studio. So we're hoping for that luck. Z, Z, Z. Are One you thing. sure? Are you, do you think? But the Nigerian team seems to be formidable. Yes. And Black Stars is known for disappointment. Right? I will not hand my hope out like that. Of course. So there's so many reactions, celebrity reactions. Let me read some of them to you. Um... Sewa so, Ami here said, I'm eating heavily tomorrow before the Ghana versus Niger match. I've advised myself from the last time. <laughs> good, good choice, Sewa. Such a good choice. Dumelo is coming with some crazy wild plans. Should Nigeria win the game? He says, there's no way Nigeria win the, today's match. If they do, I, John Seto Dumelo, will walk barefoot from Accra to Lagos tomorrow morning with my ginger on my head. Super Eagles, my foot. Get ready. This your super eagles, my foot is the same foot that is going to carry you. <laughs> 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 so 
Sarkodie says, I think I should have been in Kumasi. Me too, Sarkodie. Me too. Because the ambience in Kumasi right now, crazy. Conti boys at the Barbera Sports today. Since yesterday, they've been there jamming. It is going to be a hoot. And we wish the Black Stars all the best. We are not keeping our hopes up. We're just saying all the best, yes. right? Yes. All the best. Pleasure That's it. Surprise us. Surprise us. <laughs> Guys, we are moving on to our top story for the week. Woo! Somebody that has been trending so much is the ex. Or I don't even know the current relationship status between Papi Kajo and Zenat. But he wants me back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the relationship is just as muddy as <laughs> Papi Kajo's latest okay. stunt. Sorry, <laughs> on Twitter, we need to understand what is going on. Let's say dripping a check. Hey, or girls, no, I'm not me texting one in Keno. I mean, I'm a drip. <laughs> I want to be the kind of ex that still knows all the lyrics yes. to my ex's song. But anyway, guys, so Papi Kajo has been flaring up oh. and dropping apparent bombshells after bombshells. So it all started with a space on Twitter where he was asked on his current relationship with Joey B and what may have happened. Where he went on to say that he was hurt by Joey and Joey had complaints about the people he was rolling with. And now Joey is best friends with these supposed people. So then he, he doesn't plan to do a song again with Joey unless somebody like Sarkodia calls in for a collaboration with both of them on the track. And he will only do it because he respects Sark. And he went on to say, I will not share my side of the story as to what led to the breakup or falling out. And I don't think he remembers he said that because he has been on social media giving hints on what could have possibly ended the friendship or bromance. And one, one person has appeared in this story is Yvonne Nelson. Mm. Because Papi could just seems to be telling a story of to how he was with Yvonne Nelson. With his Instagram post arrangement. Right? Like, I'm not telling you. But I'm saying something. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so apparently there was a time where he and Yvonne were together. I don't know under there what circumstances. Song. Yes. The song that he mentioned, he name dropped Yvonne in. Exactly. So then they were spotted together. He was even spotted driving his car, uh, her car, sorry. And then all of a sudden, Joey is also spotted with Yvonne Nelson. Relaxing, then tense, then tweets and tense. So it looks like, ah, so part one of the story, you and Yvonne. Part two, Joey and Yvonne. Is Yvonne the cause of this problem? Well, we don't know. And we thought Joey B was the only targeted audience <laughs> or target. But no, 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 no. He moved on straight to Mr. Easy. And I'm like, what has Mr. Easy done? Unproblematic so. Minding his business and chopping his money. Chopping his $80 dollar money. <laughs> What is your problem? But apparently, he has a problem with Easy because he claims he brought Easy to the system as soon as he featured on Bank Lies, and Bank Lies was a hit. So then, he, Easy owes his limelight partly to him, and he doesn't acknowledge that. Then, after Mr. Easy, the third target who came, and that was Sam Jata George. How do you go try to pet a lion? How do you even go try to play with a roaring lion? But Papi Kojo went to <laughs> the lion's den and decided to reference something that happened about six months ago. So during the whole LGBT plus debacle, um, Sam George took a hit at Deborah Vanessa. And it is now that Papi wants to attack him for it. So Papi went to Twitter and said that he doesn't even understand how Ghanaians let that slide. Because Deborah is talented and pretty. Why would you let something like Sam George shade him, uh, shade her and let that slide? He, he will not allow. I said, what did you do? Ah, Sam George too doesn't know how to play. No. Small play. Sam George can destroy the boy. Say, music career, die. Hey! Now he has important things doing like... Um, Figuring things out with the finance minister, Ken Oferiata, than to be engaging with somebody, who, who, uh, somebody whose career is dead. I mean, Sam George just kept on hitting, hit after hit, and Papi just said, I mean, I'm going to lose this fight, but I'm not going to work out not having fought back. So Papi just is taking this at his teeth and his face. And for that teeth issue, I feel offended because you and I, we both have gaps. Yes. So Papi, if you're coming for Sam George for his teeth, you're indirectly coming for me. But are you sure he's coming for the gap or the arrangement? The arrangement. <laughs> I thought you feel offended. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> Papi is still finding targets and Papi is still shooting. We don't know who the next target is, but I just hope it's not Zina. It's me. <laughs> because I just wrote 
a very long article detailing everything that has been going on. He's not going to like it because if you read it, it's like I'm being biased to, towards him. <laughs> Guys, thank you so, so much for joining us today on Top Picks. It was amazing. We had fun. We hope you did too. Follow us on our social media platforms. I'm your TV Damasio. I'm your TV Damasio. <laughs> Go to me at Denver.com for your latest story in all things entertainment, lifestyle, and showbiz, guys. It was amazing with you. Yeah, Damasio. Thank <laughs> you.